What is it, Dad? I'm not sure. I thought I saw something. We can go and check it out. We're not even that far out of town yet. The trail to Wapus Bay goes through here. What did you see, my boy? I don't know, but it went in there. Oh, cool! An eagle's nest! Oh, yeah! Cool. Yep. Are you boys coming along? There might be some animal tracks we can identify. I'll come with you guys. I'll stay here, Mushroom, in case the eagle returns and I can film it. Okay. You have fun. I will, Mushroom. Bye. Bye. Oh, cool. There are two baby eaglets in there, Mushroom. That's weird. <gasps> Mushroom? Uh, Dad? Talon? <gasps> what is that? Now this deer is a young buck, and he went in that direction pretty fast. You can tell from the stride. Dad! Mushroom! Over here! What's wrong, son? The camera broke. Eagles walked upright. Whoa, slow down and catch your breath first. Are you okay? Peace. We were peaceful until you frantically came along. No, Uncle Jacob. He means two words. Uh, first word... Oh, okay. This is lots of fun. Uh, large. Uh, a giant. Uh, huge. Uh, grand. Enormous. Gigantic. A giant boulder. A, a meteor. The Earth. No, 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 I got it. The universe. Oh, I see. Two universes. No, Uncle. Second word. Oh. A uh, shoe. Uh, toes. Uh. uh, socks. Boots. Gigantic moccasins. No. Bigfoot! Oh, I was getting close. What kind of berries are we going to pick, Mom? Well, we'll see what's out there, my girl. Blueberries, raspberries, cranberries. Oh, I can't wait. I love cranberries. Whatever we can pick for the elders of Wapos Bay will be good. They can no longer go out on the land and pick berries like they used to, you know. I'm sorry I broke your camera, Mosham. That's okay, T-Bear. I'm just glad you're safe and away from that bear. But it wasn't a bear. I don't think bears walk upright. If my son says he saw a Bigfoot, then he saw a Bigfoot. I didn't say that, Dad. Oh, right, son. Good thinking. We didn't see a thing. I've been hunting, fishing, and trapping out here on the land all my life. I've never seen no Bigfoot. Looks like your Kokum, Sarah, and Raven went to Pigberries. They won't be back until sundown. And she loves me. Well, we have to get your camera fixed, Mushroom, so I can prove to you what I saw. Hey, why don't we go and see the audiovisual guys at school? They can fix anything electronic. Good idea. Well, we have a little bit of time. Let's go. Coming, son. You guys... Go ahead. Uh, I'll wait here for the others. Here? 
What's the password? Uh, uh, the crow flies swiftly in the breeze? Close enough. What can we do for you, T-Bear, Talon? I kind of broke my mushroom's camera while filming a Bigfoot. You mean the, the Sasquatch? The Yeti? The abominable snowman? I think so. In the flesh? I knew we came to the right place as exchange teachers. Do you know what this means? We can get our camera fixed. Oh, yeah, yeah. If what T-Bear claims is true, then we have the most important discovery ever in the history of mankind. More important than the discovery of adenosine triphosphate. Or the theory of relativity. Or the discovery of aliens' unhealthy obsession with farmers in pickup trucks. Whoa, whoa, slow down. We haven't seen anything yet, because we need our camera fixed. All right, we'll get right on it. Just don't lose that tape. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, Jacob. Uh -huh. Bigfoot footage. Highest bidder. <clears throat> A million? Woo-hoo. A million dollars was offered to a Mr. Peterson with video footage of the legendary Bigfoot. The offer came from the Observation of Sasquatch Institute, or OSI. News media organizations offered more money. However, Mr. Peterson saw the importance of OSI's continued research and protection efforts. Hmm. Raven, don't go too far and wander off. There's lots of berries over here. I won't, Mom. Mmm, so good. How much did you pick, my girl? Um, I only picked the perfect ones, and they're hard to find, so I didn't get much. I see. Well, we can't be too picky. Get it? Too picky? <laughs> <laughs> Well, we have to fill the pails. There's a lot of elders relying on us, you know. And don't eat all the berries or we'll end up... <gasps> what was that? I don't know, but we should go now. What was back there? Could have been a bear looking for berries to eat. Oh, this sun is in my eyes. It's hard to see. <gasps> Oh, heavens. Are you two okay? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. What was that? I don't know, but it was black and hairy and walking upright. We better get home. You did what? I just invited a few interested parties to come and talk about viewing the footage my son shot. Nothing wrong with just talking, is there? You are not going to believe what we just saw. A Bigfoot? How did you... See? Told you. And my son here videotaped it. This one guy down south received one million dollars for footage he shot, and another... What are you talking about? The Observation of Sasquatch Institute is coming here to talk to us about selling the footage. All T-Bear and I have to do is name our price. But Mushin bought that video camera for me, and paid for the repairs. But I bought the videotape, and T-Bear filmed it. As band counselor of Wapus Bay, I've already talked to Chief Big Sky, and we called for a town meeting to discuss all of this. Think of the spin-offs. Wapus Bay Bigfoot mugs, Wapus Bay Bigfoot keychains, ooh, Wapus Bay Bigfoot slippers. Huh? Hey, I did film it. I was in the right place at the right time. Yeah, but with my video camera. You're just jealous. No, I'm not. You wouldn't have had that footage if it wasn't for my camera. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so there. Oh, now look what you've started, Jacob. Give me the tape. But I... No one is selling anything until we all can look at this tape together. Welcome, welcome everyone to our little community of Wapus Bay. 
I am so happy you could all be here. Real happy. Yes. Yes, as you all know, one of our citizens of Wapwas Bay has videotaped what seems to be a, a what some might call a, 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 a Bigfoot. A T-Bear and his father, Jacob, have agreed to answer any questions you may have. Yes. How did you feel being so close to the monster? Uh, well, I wasn't scared at all. It was actually pretty cool. When can we see the footage of the Sasquatch? Well, like we said in our press release, we are willing to talk to you and come to some, uh, agreement. Beware. Beware. Be very aware. Because a family in my homeland of Scotland claimed to have similar footage, but of the Loch Ness Monster. They too were offered lots of money for their video, and ever since that day, they were never seen again. Maybe they just sold the footage and moved away. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess so. Yeah. Never mind. Pam! Pam! Coco Mary here. I remember the time when Sasquatch lived among us. It was long ago, before that radio broadcast of Martians invading the Earth, you know. Hmm. I never did hear an update on that. The alien's biological makeup probably couldn't handle the Earth's microorganisms, you know. It's usually the case when you introduce a foreign organism into a new environment, you know. Anywho, the Sasquatch were considered by our people to be the guardians of the forest and animals. They should be protected and left alone, you know. Hi, my name is Steve, from Austin. That's in Texas. And this is my boss, Oscar. We're from the OSI, the Observation of Sasquatch Institute. We agree with Cook and Mary here in protecting the habitat and well-being of these elusive creatures. Our interest here is also to protect... Sorry, the helium tank is acting up! As I was saying, our interest here is also to protect... Sorry, I forgot to turn off my GPS. <clears throat> Anyways, our interest is also to protect your community here. Now, we've seen it before, where all kinds of reckless big-game hunters will want a shot at the Bigfoot for the reward. <gasps> oh, oh, no! no. Rosalie! Mom! Why do we have to pick berries again today? What about that Bigfoot? Oh, there is no such thing as a Bigfoot around here. There are a lot of elders, Raven. We didn't get enough yesterday to make jam for everyone. Well, maybe that's my fault. What do you mean, my girl? I was kind of eating a lot of them yesterday. They were so juicy, I couldn't help myself. Sorry. It's good that you realize that yourself, Raven. <gasps> Tapwe, that's how we grow and learn. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm going to pick lots of berries for the elders. I'll fill this pail right up. Okay, Raven, but don't go too far. Okay. Cook him? Mom? <gasps> Raven! Raven, slowly back up and come to me. Oh, thank goodness he's safe. We feared the worst. I'm fine, Dad. What, what's wrong? It's not safe to be out here. Where's your mother and Raven? Mom went off that way to get Raven. She wandered off picking. Oh, oh no. no! We'll go this way. Steve, you go that way towards the gunshot. You got it, Mushum. I 
Uh, don't shoot. There's people over there. Musham, you're here. Mom. Are you two okay? We're okay. Yeah, but the bear ate all the berries that I picked and was scared off. That bear must have been hungry. Something must have eaten up its food source. Something big. Something real big. With big feet. What are you talking about? Wouldn't you concur, Steve, with that assessment? Well, no, I don't think so. I think the berry picking by Cookum, Sarah, and Raven here probably contributed to the bear being hungry in the first place. Would someone tell us what the heck is going on around here? <laughs> it's a long story that we'll tell you about on the way back to Hopus Bay. <laughs> The camera is fixed. We just need the tape. Let's go to Mosham's, and I can finally prove to you all what I saw. T-Bear, I've been thinking. I feel bad about our argument, and I don't want us to fight over this anymore. It was your sighting, and you should get the reward for it. I wouldn't have any footage if it weren't for your camera. Looks like this footage has caused a lot of trouble for all of Wapus Bay. Oh, well, yeah. Hey, I have an idea. We're finally home, and everyone is safe. Not everyone is safe, Dad. This hysteria is getting way out of hand. I've already responded to over a hundred calls of hunters walking around scaring the people. It's a miracle that no one is hurt, <gasps> but it is just a matter of time. It's still dangerous out there with hunters everywhere. So Talon and I decided to give most of the reward to the conservation officers. This will help make Wapu's Bay safe again. Huh? What? But, but... These boys have big hearts. This will really help with the hiring of extra officers to keep our community safe from all of this Bigfoot nonsense. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Way. <laughs> Here's the tip. You ready, my son? You bet, Dad. Now, before we all witness the magnificent beast that is Bigfoot, I have something to say. I never knew all of this would happen, and I'm sorry for all the trouble it has caused. Sometimes I just go a little bit overboard. Like the time I arranged to have flights from Wapus Bay to sunny Mexico just so we could call ourselves an international airport. Sure, it took 72 hours by float plane and 37 stops, but the service was second to none. And then there was that time I when... I think we get the point, my son. Thank you. Now let's watch T-Bear's video. Oh, right. Sorry, Dad. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, my. What the... Oh, holy moly. This is when I zoomed in for a closer look. Oh, my. Oh my look God. at the size of that. Holy Would you look at that? That must be Bigfoot. Oh, my. Look at that. Wow, that was pretty cool. It looks like you have the real deal here, Jacob, Musham, T-Bear, and Talon. I'm going to start with an offer of three million dollars. Oh, wow! Oh, wow. <laughs> <clears throat> I think we can start at six million dollars, man. Uh, I mean, Steve. You drive a hard bargain, Jacob. I guess that's why you're a band counselor of Wapus Bay. It's okay. Oh, oh, heavens. It's just us. Uncle Peter? Alphonse? What happened to you two? We were cleaning the chimneys at the Elder's Island camps all day. And when we walked back to town, we were shot at. We ran as fast as we could. Hey! That's you on TV, Alphonse. At the shoreline. Well, I'm sorry, gentlemen. But I'm afraid we just found our Bigfoot. But... But you can't leave. Hey, wait a sec. Oh, I know. Uh, did you hear about the albino chicken we have spotted just east of here? It's very rare. That's okay, Steve. We'll be on the lookout. And if we see something, 
We'll know just who to call. You got it, T-Bear and Talon. Would someone tell us what the heck is going on around here? <laughs> <laughs> How come you needed us to buy 25 tapes, Dad? Because I know I had to shoot our entire fishing trip. You never know when you might catch something on video. Be careful. There might still be some hunters around. Let me go first. I'm OK. What? Hmm. No, no. Ah, no, I need you closer for the perspective and depth of field. I'm trying. You come and wear this contraption. <clears throat> oh. Uh oh Oops. Uh, uh, hi, well, we were just uh, uh, taking some pictures for, um, um, for the people of uh, Wapus Bay. Um, just so they can see how easy it is for their eyes, you know, to play tricks on them. It's, uh, it's for educational purposes, uh, right, Principal Steele? Hmm? Oh, yeah, right, Chief Big Sky. <laughs> 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 